What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, LEGO sent me the new CMF Series 23 minifigures to open up for you guys. I'm really excited to do that. And of course, all thoughts in this video are my own. Now there are 36 bags in here, 18 in each row, which means that there's a chance we could get three of each since there are 12 figures in the series. It doesn't always work out like that though. So let's start opening these up and see what we find. So a big thing about this series is a lot of people were concerned that these were gonna come in boxes, myself included, but they are still in bags, which means we can still feel for the parts. So that's a good thing. The box looks absolutely awesome. We've got so many cool costumed characters and holiday themed characters. It's gonna be perfect for the holiday season coming up here and these release on September 1st, 2022 and will retail for $4.99 here in the US. All right, bag number one, let's see who we get. Oh, it's the wolf character. So here we go. He's got dull molded legs with blue pants on top and gray feet on the bottom. Those connect very well with the cool overalls he has. He uses the Rocket Raccoon tailpiece with a brand new uh, like helmet mold for the wolf head. We've got a little printing on the bag, which is nice. In one side, it looks like he's going to huff and puff and blow your house down like the old fairy tale. And the other side, he's licking his chops. So that's definitely a very, very cool figure. Opening the bag also gives us our first look at the checklist, which looks really, really awesome. We've got a Nutcracker, a Fairy Girl, Frosty the Snowman, a Reindeer Girl, of course the one we just opened, Popcorn Kid, Robot Girl, a Little Girl Elf, we've got the uh, Turkey Guy, we've got the Sailor, like in a Titanic body costume, and a little... Um, I guess like a little night girl and then a dragon girl. So that's pretty awesome. Great series. All right, bag number two. It's the Titanic guy. So the Titanic guy is really cool. I really love that costume. I'm not really sure what you could use it for other than this very one specific use. But the cool thing is he's got these arms, which I've been using for a long time on my Doctor Strange customs, but they haven't come on a figure in a long, long time. So it's cool that it's in something a little bit more common now. Next up, we have the Candy Cane Fairy Girl. She's really awesome with the printing on the wings. She has a double-sided head with like some sparkle sprinkles on her cheeks on both sides and an open mouth smile on the other. We've got a white tiara and a brand new Candy Cane piece that looks awesome. This is definitely gonna be popular for Christmas builds. Here we have the reindeer, which is amazing. She's got printing on the toes, on the torso, a tail, and a little collar printing on the back as well. She comes with a heart-shaped gingerbread cookie, a little present with printing on the top. And when we open that up, uh, it's like the regular present piece we've gotten. So there's a uh, cookie that you can fit inside as well. The head is awesome. She has a little buck teeth thing going on there. And you can flip it around with a big smile with her eyes closed. Then we can flip that around and you can see that she's got that deer headpiece and it comes with an extra set of antlers so you could like put that on a character's hair. So like for example, you could put it on a character that has a hole in the hair to have them wearing like some festive antlers or you could remove it and now it's a doe. So I really like how versatile this figure is. Here we have the night girl and she actually comes with more accessories than she can hold. She also comes with a little pink shield here, but I really like this like little horse piece. You can see that the horse head just has a hole in it so that you could put that pole there so that she can kind of like play giddy up with it. So that's pretty cool. She actually comes with two of these gold swords, which is very nice for like, you know, castle army building. We get a pink feather that goes into this gold faceplate, which lifts back so you could see her determined face on one side and just a cute little smirk on the other. We can then lift up the headpiece and take off this armor piece on the chest. Well, easier said than done. <laughs> and she's got some pink armor underneath that you can see there. And there's a little printing on the back as well. But probably the coolest part are these gray mid-sized legs. The first time they've come in this color to my knowledge. Pretty amazing. After that, we get the dragon, and she comes in a poly bag. So when you're feeling for these, try to listen for the crinkle of the poly bag and feel for the big helmet and wings. So this figure is amazing. The green colors really pop, and I love the printing on the arms as well as the legs and torso. She comes with a big green tail and green wings, as well as a really detailed helmet piece 
that you put horns in the back of, and one side of her face is kind of like an angry fighting face, and then the other side of her face is just a kind of gentle, warm smile. Definitely a cool figure. The turkey also comes in a crinkle bag, but you can try to feel for the tail, which is probably the easiest part. Turkey is an amazing figure. It comes with a pumpkin, and these legs are great, dual molded with red on the bottom, brown up top. We, of course, get these brown turkey feather arms with a great torso. Got a little beard going on there with the head. And we also get a giant turkey tail, which is unnecessarily awesome. If we flip the head around, though, this is my favorite part. For some reason, he's got an angry face. Like, why is this turkey man so angry? I don't know, but I absolutely love it. That brings us to the robot girl next. She kind of breaks the holiday theme that a lot of these characters have, but it's still very cool. She's got an on-off switch on this arm with dual molded arms on both sides, as well as dual molded legs on the other side. I really love this big techno headpiece. I'm interested to see how Lego can use that on figures in the future, but this computer piece in her hand is cool. She actually comes with two pairs of scissors. In one side, she's got this big, like, cheese and grin, and on the other side is just a friendly little face. Definitely a cool figure. We have the elf, which looks amazing. She's got the printing on the legs, dull molded short legs, no less, a great elf torso that can be awesome for making customs. The head does have two sides. We've got a little smirk on this side and an open mouth smile on the other, and the ponytails on this look great. Her accessory is a little snow globe with a gingerbread house inside, and it only comes with one dome piece and one 2x4, but it comes with enough uh, pieces on the inside to build another gingerbread house, which looks really, really awesome. The popcorn kid is awesome, but why didn't he come with a little popcorn accessory? That would have made it so much better. It's a cool figure, though. He's got these mid-sized legs, which, of course, are the shorter legs that are poseable. That's very awesome. Then you can lift up the, like, helmet piece there. He's got a plain white torso, a little smirk on this side, and then, of course, that big grin on the other side. That cracker figure is amazing. He's got printing on the arms, dual molded legs, really, really awesome accessories like the little uh, chestnut here. It comes with two golden swords, two of these little shoulder pieces, and the hat is really, really awesome too with all the hair on the side. He's got a big grin on one side, a regular smile, or kind of just a mute face on the other, and the legs are really cool too with those white and black comboed boots. Really awesome. And our final minifigure to take a look at is Frosty the Snowman. Now, something that I did not realize is that there's actually a head underneath and there's like a person sweating in the costume. I really like that. This headpiece is new. You can see how it kind of goes up and over the scarf, which is quite cool, and it just fits on the head like that. I'm curious to see what else Lego could use a headpiece like that for, and the carrot piece is new as well. It's actually like a smaller carrot than I've seen before. Of course, the top hat just fits on top, and we've got a little broom. I think it would have been interesting if they gave him almost like a rounded base that goes over the legs to make him look more like a snowman, but the beauty of Lego is we can just build that ourselves. So let's zoom out and give a final overview on this new CMF series. Well, there you have it, guys. There is your Series 23 CMF figures unboxed. I really like these a lot more than I was expecting to, and if I had to choose a top three, I would say number three is the reindeer. I just love those antlers. Those antlers crack me up, and the fact that you could put them on other figures is definitely a really cool feature. Then, of course, I love the snowman. We talked about the snowman. He was great. I love that uh, new headpiece, and I'm excited to see what else LEGO does with it. And finally, the turkey is so funny because I just don't understand why he's so angry. It just looks so awesome. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.